Hello, everybody. We're uh, back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. And you know what I just realized? We forgot to increase the diamond counter when we got that uh, diamond lion yesterday. So let's increase the diamond counter by one. I got to remember to do that now that I've got it set up to be like for any diamonds that we get. I always forget that. I always forget it. But we're going to remember it today. Wait, what time do they drink again? I forgot. 10 to 14. Okay. Let's go 10.53. How about that? Oh, and let me live chat real quick so I can see every message. How's everybody doing? You know, we have seen this red deer so many times during this Euro Bison grind. Let's blast him. Not vitals. Feels bad, man. Well, you know, it was worth a shot. But unfortunately, Crow just doesn't have the, uh, he doesn't got that sniper precise aim, you know. Uh, it says it in the title, uh, Tyler. Where do they drink at? The entire, like, left half of the map, pretty much. Once again, everything is here, except for the bison, so... Let's shoot a couple of these pigs if we can. Ah, we suck today. We, we suck today, guys. We're already missing every easy shot. What am I doing? What what am I doing? Did I misjudge the distance? Oh, I definitely did. I definitely misjudged the distance. Well, we're off to a fantastic start, guys. I think we missed almost every single shot there. We're, we're, do, we're doing great. <laughs> we're starting off great. You know, I actually want to check out a new lake today. Because there's a, there's a spot that we have not been to that I think actually does have a uh, decent chance of having some. Great start. Yeah, yep, yeah, we're doing great. We're doing really good. Just getting warmed up. I mean, technically, yes. This is the first shots I've taken the entire day, so. Technically, yeah. I guess we are just getting warmed up. I just got kicked out of that tent. My gosh. Ooh, actually, that's a that's a goose setup I want to keep. We'll take down this one. Oh, it it always has G gaming. Nice, Carter. Let's see what we can get going today, guys. Yesterday was a very successful day of hunting. We managed to get a uh, big piebald level 4 bison as well as a uh, diamond lion. So today, yesterday was an awesome day. Very awesome day. Nice, Brayden. That's awesome. Hey, Savoy, how's it going? It, it is a very underrated map, that's for sure. Is there a way to stop the animals from spooking? Uh, yes, Donnell. So, it, it's not about spooking, right? It's not about stopping them from spooking. It's about stopping them from rendering in so that they can't spook in the first place. If you've got two zones that are, you know, within close proximity to each other, but more than 150 away. If you've got zones that are between 150 and 300 away, that's when it's most effective. What you can do is place two tents, one on each of the zones. And then when you fast travel to the first tent, you can take down the herd across from you. And then when you fast travel over to the other tent to claim them, the herd that you were on top of will render in. And because they were not rendering in, they can't spook, so they're going to be there unspooked. Oh, I'm sorry that you've been sick, man. Hopefully you get better soon, dude. 
Been grinding SRP all day. Nice, Garrett. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the DLCs. For those that uh, did not watch yesterday's video, we did uh, pick the winner of the... Um, what's it called? Of the giveaway. I pinned the comment and we already delivered the DLCs. Uh, the winner was Garrett right here in the chat. So congratulations to Garrett for winning the uh, giveaway. And you guys pushed us up 500 new subscribers yesterday. Just under 500 new subs. So we're almost already to the Xbox giveaway. Or was it the PlayStation? I think PlayStation we were going to do next. Well, whichever one it is, we're almost to the next giveaway. I already went ahead and got all of the uh, the gift cards. Unfortunately, I was a I was not able to get like the values that I wanted, so it's I had to actually do two two gift cards for the Xbox One. So whoever wins the Xbox giveaway, whenever we hit 99k, will uh, receive two codes instead of one. But it'll be the same amount as the PlayStation. I decided to go with uh, two $25 Xbox gift cards and then one $50 PlayStation gift card. And so those giveaways will be done once we hit 97 and 99,000. And it'll be the same thing. I'll talk about it in a video and give the directions in the video. Uh, directions will be whenever we hit the milestone, Davin. I just want to give back, Sven. Like, you guys have given me so much just by watching my content. Like, I, I don't think you guys understand, like, how how substantial it's been to my life. The fact that you guys watch the content and enjoy it. It's literally given me a way to support my family and do something that I love. And I really just cannot thank you guys enough for that. So, I want to do whatever I can to get back. Is that... <laughs> we got a piebald. Oh, it's a female, but we got a piebald. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Uh, this is the first time I've been to this lake as well. So that would be probably an initial spawn. Because I have not hunted Hirschfelden since the uh, since the reset they did. Except for the few lakes that we've been hunting bison at. And this was not one of them. So this is initial spawn. That is super cool though. Well, I guess we're going to be plopping a tent down here. Because it does look like there is some bison here. And we... There we go. Yeah, TTV, that's the second piebald one. This is definitely an initial spawn, though. Yesterday's was, I think, like three or four runs into grinding. This is definitely initial spawn, though. We have not been to this lake before. Pretty cool. Is Nightbot better now? Um, I forgot to go through and change the settings, uh, G Gaming. I, I get so busy throughout the day, I forget to do stuff that I said I was gonna do. I will get to it if I can remember. Yeah, that's typically just how it works, Carter. Because something you got to think about is though there is a uh, 96k people subbed, you're not going to get anywhere near that watching streams, right? Because people come and go throughout the day. A lot of subscribers to the channel may be old subscribers that don't watch anymore. Or it may be people that only watch for specific content. There's maybe people that only are here for Way of the Hunter or Classic and only watch those videos. There's also going to be, like I said, people that just don't watch YouTube anymore. There's going to be the dormant accounts. There's going to be people that are in different time zones that are sleeping right now. So yeah, typically you're not going to get as many people watching a stream as you have uh, subscribers. Same with videos. I think the average is for most creators, you can expect your content to get around like 10% of the views of what your subscriber count is. So technically my videos should be averaging like 10,000 because we have almost 100k. There we go. This is number two, rare number two of the grind. Another piebald. This one being a level one female 
from a lake that we had never been to. Not too bad. You know, I'm actually really loving this grind. It's been one of the more fun grinds so far that we've done in a while. This and the lions have been great. Been having a lot of fun with it. Who do I want to win the Super Bowl? I don't really watch uh, football anymore, so I don't even know like who who is on each of the teams, but I'd say out of the two, I'd prefer... Who is it again? Is it Chiefs and Eagles? Gosh, I don't even know. I used to like the Eagles a decent bit. But then I've also seen some crazy stuff from the Chiefs recently that kind of... I don't know. I don't know who I would want to win. I mean, I think the Eagles just because I feel like they need to go for another win. They don't have a ton of Super Bowl wins, so... Then again, I don't think the Chiefs have a ton either. I don't know. I'd, I'd say Eagles. Just because Brober likes the Chiefs, you know. Gotta go against Brober, right? <laughs> I'm gonna say Eagles. Yeah, I think, I think I want the Eagles to win. The Eagles have more than the Chiefs? Oh, wow. Do the Chiefs have, like, what, one or two? Eagles have, like, what, two or three? I don't even know. I haven't kept up to date on what teams have uh, what amount right now. Yes, this is Hirschfelden. Always oh, against Brober, exactly. Y you gotta go with the exact opposite of what Brober likes. It's just how it works. I don't know if we've got any other zones around here for the bison. It kind of seems like it's just one. So I don't know how long we'll keep the tent here, but we can at least uh, try it out and see how we do. Oh yeah, Nathan, I heard that I got out of watching football at like the perfect time. Apparently around the time that I stopped watching it was when the referees started getting really terrible at their jobs. So, seems like I uh, dodged a bullet by stopping uh, watching the NFL. Do we have any males here? None. Oh wow, that's a first. I wonder if we've got some at this lake. I just remembered, this is actually a lake that does have bison, I believe. I need to get something set up there, man. We'll do that after we check this lake, though. Because I know this lake is nuts for them. It was going crazy yesterday. Ah, uh, there's always been bison on the map, uh, Natalie. These are the European bison. Nothing across the way. But the zone on top of us seems to have tracks, so it should be there as well. Oh, that doesn't sound fun, uh, TTV. <laughs> no males. You know, what's going on with uh, some of these zones? That's a nice seven there. I've noticed that a couple of these zones are starting to lose their males. Definitely kind of seems like bison might be moving around a little bit we might need to check some of these uh, neighboring lakes I, I guess these could have a chance of having them I think this one might have a chance as well we'll check this one though we'll go here real quickly and see what this is looking like we need another tent though where can we snag a tent from that won't matter probably this one uh, hold on, let me check the super chat. Jacob, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hey, Crow, I got my first diamond. Nice, that's awesome, man. Congratulations. That's awesome. Are the bison very consistent? Uh, they're decently consistent. Not perfect, but they, they've got a decent bit of consistency to their respawns. To a point where it's at least tolerable, from what I'm seeing. They're at least tolerable when it comes to the respawns. No clue, NBS. I just pulled music from, uh, what's it called? 
Epidemic sound. I don't I don't ever check to see what other music people are using. If I'm being honest, I don't really watch too much uh Call of the Wild content. Except for like uh whenever I need a guide on something. Oh yeah, burger. I mean, my first diamond was a red deer. I guess you could say that that's kind of like a, a basic first diamond as well, kind of like a goose. Still pretty uh, cool, though. I mean, it's it's first diamond's a first diamond, right? It's gonna be special no matter what it is. There's bison on all of those lakes. All right, we're gonna have to check them out then. We're going to have to check them out and see where some of our males have gone. Because I am convinced that some of them are moving. Hey, Buck Slayer, how's it going? Uh, no, Jennifer, I haven't. Your first diamond was a mountain lion? Hey, yeah, sounds about right, TTV. Got four diamonds in under an hour. That's very lucky, Davin. That's very lucky. You have how many kills? In total? Uh, like... Over 60,000. I know that. Over 60,000 in total. We didn't claim every single kill on the Great One grind. We claimed about, like, 80% of them, I would say. So, a lot of my kills were not claimed... Because we have 26,000 whitetail and 20,000 red deer kills. And if about 20% of those were not claimed due to like poor hits and not wanting to take the time to chase them down, that would be... Gosh, I suck at math. We'll, we'll see if I can get this. Around like 9,000... Around like 9,000 were not claimed during the grinds. So we'll never have an exact, uh, accurate representation of how many I've killed. But I know for a fact it's above 60,000. Oh, bison kills. Uh, probably like 60 or 70. We're still pretty early in the grind. We started grinding them yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I'd say we probably killed around 50 or 60 of them. Maybe more, maybe less. Anything? Oh, no worries, uh, NBS. Nice, Jacob. I bet you were. That's awesome. Wow, nothing here. That's actually surprising. I expected this lake to have some. These two do. I know this big one does, but I, I really don't have to hunt that. Let's go check all these down here. Oh, no, Constantine. That's the worst. I mean, I, I guess I'm kind of in the same boat because a lot of my first trophies were before lodges were a thing. So I still don't have uh, my first diamond taxed because they they couldn't be taxed back then. My first rares are gone forever because there was no lodges back then. I had some cool stuff as well. I had like a level six, I believe, Leucistic Cape Buffalo. And to this day, I've never found another one. I also had a really nice albino legacy rack, Roosevelt Elk. That I believe was one of the big level threes for the uh, legacy racks. Looked really good. Sadly, never been able to get a good albino since. I think my best albino was a level two. 
Yeah, good luck. That's awesome. Hey, Rhodes, how's it going? What do we got here? Any bison in sight at all? Hey, we do have bison. Okay. Not bad. Couple males. That's a good sign. Love to see it. Uh, Norai, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing today. Hope you've been having fun and enjoying the stream. Oh, we got three males there. That's where all our males are going. All right, no worries, TTV. Uh, no diamonds yet, call the wild kid. Unlimited outdoors. Thank you for the one month. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. All right, let's slap down the tent over here if we can. I need to find a place where we can still see them pretty well. What map am I currently on? We are on Hirschfelden. A map that Scarecrow never really plays. Except for, for this grind. Oh gosh. We're gonna hope that that stays. I don't know if it will. The beavers are gonna have a heyday with this area. I can already tell. The beavers are gonna go crazy just smoking everything I've got. Can I put this anywhere? Yeah, right here. Ah, uh, that should be good enough. Yeah, this will definitely be fine. I mean, they're fleeing right now because we spooked them, but still. That, that should be a good enough area. Let's grab one more tent and then we will tent up the other spot down here if it does have bison. Let's remove this one. Since that little river zone isn't really a crazy spot for fallow anymore, we don't really need this tent anymore. What's my favorite animal? My favorite animal to... Oh, well, rip. Favorite animal... is probably the red deer, but my favorite animal to hunt is... the white-tailed deer. Uh, yeah, Jennifer, I do hunt in real life. I haven't in about six or seven years, but uh, when I did used to hunt, it was for black tail deer. And then also occasionally some elk as well, though never really had good luck with elk. All right, we got 735 meters to go, kind of uphill as well. Where do you find great ones at? Uh, great ones are random spawn from whitetail, moose, red deer, and black bear. You can get them on any of the maps that those species are on. It's just a matter of killing a lot of that species until one of them respawns as a great one. It's all up to luck as to how quickly that'll happen. Uh, just time reasons, Constantine. Time reasons. Um, the fact that I'm a dad now and do full-time YouTube. Like, I, I just don't have time to go out and hunt for real right now. Once my daughter gets a little bit older, then maybe I'll be able to. What gun do you need for whitetail grind? Any weapon that's four to eight. 
Any weapon that is a, a 4 to 8 class rifle. Running red deer in your game crashes and came back all of a sudden. Zones are gone. All your HM got messed up. Whole map became fresh and I lost Gerald. That that sucks, Bubba. I I don't know what to tell you, man. That that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. What's a good whitetail map? Good whitetail maps are Revel and Tule Coast and Layton. Um Rancho's kind of like a, a decent one, but it's not on the same level as Layton and Rev on Thule. And then Mississippi is a uh, bottom tier for for whitetail deer. When I did my red deer grind, how many did I get per hour? Uh, between 100 and 120 per hour. But I haven't tried it since the spook changes were uh, introduced. So I probably can't get quite that many now. With the white tailed deer, we were at like 120 before they did the spook range changes, and now we're down to like 100 per hour. So I imagine that with the red deer, it'll probably end up being between 80 and 100. Ooh, nice, Duxton. That's awesome. Sounds like a good time, man. Not sure, SC Outdoors. Not sure, man. A lot of times, those types of issues are ex are like um, specific to certain hardware combinations or things that may be going on with either your game files or your actual system specs just not getting along with the current update. I would probably contact support because they'd be able to do more than most would be able to in terms of helping. Because they can actually like sift through like the crash logs and stuff like that if you have any crash logs. Anything? Oh, wow. Nothing here. Okay. Good to know. I don't have anything here, but I do have something there. This one's gotta have something. That just looks like a lake where you would find a bison. In fact, I'm almost positive I've seen some there before. How many hours do I have? Uh, 5,000 on this account or just under 5,000 on this account and then a few hundred on my challenge accounts because I have... Three different Call of the Wild accounts I use. I have this one right here that I do 99% of my content on. And then I've got the Beginner Series account, which I've dumped probably 100 hours into at this point. And then I also have a different account that I used for a hardcore series that I used to have on the channel that I uh, no longer uh, make content on. And so all in all, it's about like 5,200, I'd say, between those three. I mean, it's essentially a leucistic one, Grape. They just called them piebald for some reason. I don't know why. To be honest, I think it's because when the game launched, there were no leucistics in the game, and so they just gave every single animal in the game albino, melanistic, and piebald. And so I think they did it to kind of like streamline it when the game was like first released, and then over time they made it a bit more complex as to what each of the species can have. I would like to see them go back and change the name to Leucistic, though. It would make a lot more sense, because that, that's essentially what it is, is a Leucistic. What do we got here? It's a piggy. Uh, not today, Jacob. We're focusing on the... Bison grind today, because I've been really enjoying it. We will probably hunt some more lions tomorrow, I'd say. Maybe. What day is tomorrow? Tuesday, okay. 
Maybe. We'll see. When do Euro Bison drink? Uh, 10 to 14. Oh, yeah, I remember this area. Wait, didn't we check this like yesterday? I think we checked this like yesterday and found just a solo male. Hey, Jebba, how's it going? Hey, Tusky. Guess what you got for your birthday? Uh... Uh, I'm gonna say a new bow. Did you hunt in Alaska? No, I've never hunted in Alaska. Hey, Walker, how's it going? Nice, gold boy. That's really lucky, man. Getting two diamonds that early? that That's very lucky. That's awesome. Um, I've only hunted in Oregon, uh, Jennifer. I've only hunted in Oregon. I'm not sure, Michael. Maybe once I learn the entire, uh, entire range of where they're located. Because I haven't been to the entire map yet. I've just been hunting a few really good areas. I have not explored my whole map. Okay, this is actually amazing. We need to start grinding this lake. Oh my gosh, this must be where all of our males have gone. There's so many over there. Did we only get one of them? We might have only got one. Yeah, I think we put two shots into a single one. Let's slap this down over here. This might be a tough one to hunt. Not gonna lie. This might be a tough area to hunt. I don't know what the tripod placement's gonna be like. Me. Oh. That could work if our dog would move. Yeah, this should keep them in view. Question is, is the tent too close for them to render? Nice one hunting, that's awesome, dude. That is awesome, congrats. So how is the uh, traversal looking like here? Are we gonna be able to move through here without bumping into six million different objects? Maybe? Oh, we got another zone right here. What is this? Oh yeah, this is red deer. Ah! Yeah, I think we can get over here pretty easily. Okay, this isn't too bad. I, I might eventually get another tent over here to claim them, but for now, we can just drive over pretty quickly. That's big for a three. That's actually a pretty good size level three. Nice little gold. Definitely know it's Hershey hit everything? I don't know, we just made it around, man. We just made it around, Duxton. I think it actually will work out fine. No, Jennifer, I didn't. Got a guinea pig? Nice, Dusky. That's awesome. How to get the ducks to stop landing on top of you? Uh, to be honest, the only thing uh, that I can think of that would work is just place your decoys further away from your uh, blind. That's the only thing that I can think of that would probably work out. And they keep on rendering in. Why well, had a few of them there? Yep. 
Yeah, that's right. Run to me. Uh, let's reload before we start shooting at this guy. Got to make sure we got as many shots as possible because once we start hitting them, these will spook. Ah, uh, some of them did. They're just pushing each other around at this point. Um, Kai Kai Krabby, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support, as always. Might have been good. Um, that definitely seems a bit odd, Ryder. If you've got that many whitetail kills with no diamonds, I would say... I don't know, maybe you've got a diamond on your map that you just haven't found. Any time that I've been on a big streak with no diamonds, I typically had one on my map in a place that I never check. That's what was happening on Rancho quite a bit. Hey, I'm not gonna... Not, not going down there with that. <laughs> Bye, ATV. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. What is my favorite hunting game? Uh, Call of the Wild. Yeah, Duck, we already got it on there. Already got it changed to live chat. Yeah, Dusky, we did hit 96k. We actually hit it, um... Right before I started the stream. Which is insane. Again, thank you guys for that. We had almost 500 new subscribers yesterday, which is honestly kind of absurd for January. For those that aren't familiar, January is typically the slowest month for pretty much every content creator on the platform. Not just in Call of the Wild, just every content creator in general. December is usually like the best month of the year, with January being the slowest month, but this has been virtually the same as December. Y'all have been just going wild. So again, thank you all so much. I really do appreciate all the support. Did we even vitally hit these others? I don't know if we did. Because a couple of those shots we were taking were kind of uh, sketch ones. Where I don't even know if we got a good connection into any of these. Yeah, I'm going to say we didn't really get good shots into them. Definitely looking like that. Oh yeah, I know which one you're talking about, uh, Clager. I am familiar with it. Yeah, we don't have any males at this lake anymore. I hope it doesn't continue to be like that, because I actually liked that spot a lot. I thought it was a really cool one. Brayden, thank you for the super chat. Killed my first diamond yesterday. Nice, dude. That's awesome. What type of uh, diamond was it? What species did you manage to get? Uh-oh. I'm not seeing males here either. Where have all of our males gone? Well, we've got ourselves a, uh, a mystery on our hands. The mystery of the disappearing males. 
We might have to do a quick little loop and see if some of them are just in different parts of the lake or what's going on here. That's definitely concerning considering this herd over here had at least four males yesterday. And now it's got none. Little concerning. What time do I live stream? Typically around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, though that can vary by about an hour depending on the day. As I'm sure some of you know, the parent life is unpredictable, so sometimes I get started a little bit later, sometimes a little bit earlier. All depends on how things work out in the day, but I try to start around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, I don't see any males over here. Very concerning. Uh, Brayden, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it. It was a whitetail deer. Nice, man. That's awesome. Whitetail are a uh, cool diamond to get. No males. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a little bit worried. Where's our males? Where have our males gone? This is incredibly concerning. I think we're going to have to spread out our grind to more areas. I was really hoping we could condense it to just a few of the really, like, uh, really good areas that had a high population of them, but I think we're seeing right now that they move around a lot. Is this four males here? There's four males here. I only saw three last time. <laughs> well then. Oh, I couldn't pull the trigger. It wouldn't let me. Wish the uh, 300 had a faster trigger reset. Well, we got at least a couple of them. Grape, thank you for the super chat. It's okay to admit it. We all know you're the best content creator to play Call of the Wild. Hey man, I don't like I don't like to gloat. And I don't like to I don't like to be self uh what what's the word? Self-centered. I'd never call myself the best content creator. I leave that up to you guys to decide. But I appreciate the compliment. And thank you for the super chat once again. But hey, that's, that's for you guys to decide. I'm not in the business of saying that I'm the best or the worst at anything. Oh, we gotta grab the one by the shore, and then there's at least two up there, probably. Can't believe there were so many males at this lake. This must be where a bunch of them have gone. Where did they go? Well, I guess we didn't get good vital hits on all of them then. There's definitely multiple, uh, multiple kills worth of hunting pressure here though. We at least killed one of the ones up here. Where's our dog? Wish they would make the dog highlight like more visible. Like, I could turn on the actual dog icon, but that is so, like, intrusive on the screen. It'd be nice if they would just make the highlight more visible. Because I don't want to have to turn on the, um, where is it? Dog position icon. Like, this just...
How does it work again? Wait, did it not turn it on? It didn't even turn it on. It didn't even turn on the dog position icon. Interesting. Hey, Ictia, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. So it's supposed to show an icon when your dog's not in view. He's not in view, and it's not working. Yeah, I'd say it's broken. Just like, uh... Our skills at trying to find downed bison. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing's not dying anytime soon. He is not dying anytime soon. Honestly, I think it's about time we do a uh, time reset anyway. So let's hit up this last lake. Oh yeah, chicken. It's, uh, it was rough, man. <laughs> Recording the video for today was rough. I disconnected from like 70% of servers I tried to join and like half the ones that I would get into, like the, the spot I was going to would already be taken. And so I couldn't even go there. And then, yeah, the final server had that, had that cheater in it. So I had to leave and just decided, ah, screw it. I'm ending the video. It was a rough one. But I mean, it happens. Maybe, Lane, maybe. It's definitely an exciting thing, that's for sure. Where am I from? from? I'm from the U.S. I live in Oregon, which is on the uh, West Coast U.S. Think I got an idea for a couple zones down here. There's typically a zone like right across there and then typically one over there. I might be able to put a tent on each and uh, fast travel to them. Who knows, there might even be some bison zones clear down here. Kind of like near the border. Guess we'll see. Have we killed any diamonds yet? Not today, Jetstream. Not today. No diamonds yet. There's a few males. Okay, this actually looks like it's going to be a fire zone. I didn't realize there was this many males here. Where'd the four go? There he is. Not bad. We need to get a tent placed over there. So that we can just fast travel and uh, claim them. You're from Paris, France? Nice, that's awesome. Paris is a cool place. Never been able to go there uh, personally myself, but it looks beautiful from what I've seen. People have been answering you in chat, Jennifer. Be sure to, uh... Oh, never mind, you, you saw it, never mind. Uh, yes, I do fish in real life. I do. Um... I, I get to fish a lot more than I get to hunt, that's for sure. In fact, uh, now that I finally picked up a GoPro, I'm probably going to try and record some fishing content and just see how you guys like it. Now that I actually have the means of doing so, I'm just waiting for the uh, chest harness to arrive in the mail. And then probably going to plan on... At least recording one fishing video just to see if you guys like it.
And then if you guys do enjoy it, we might make it like a once or twice a month thing. Do you know what the easiest animal is to grind for? Uh, white tail and red deer are a couple of the easier ones. I'd say Tiaboroa red deer are probably the easiest. It's a pretty simple grind to get set up. They're in very easy to find locations. And they're pretty reliable with respawns. Oh yeah, we definitely killed three here. We got more over there as well. Pioneer, thank you for the one month, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Hey, fake fisherman, how's it going, man? You didn't miss much except for a female piebald bison in a brand new zone that we hadn't been to yet. Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh, okay. I thought there was an aggressive one for a second, but no, I forgot he's tracking still. He's still tracking, but where? Where is the blood from this other one? Can you show us, Hunter? Show us where the blood is. Right here? Ooh, that was a bad shot. Yeah, we're probably not gonna find that one right there. That one probably ran a long ways. NBS, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Grab the recurve for the aggressive ones? Yeah, it's a good idea. I really should. I really do need to kind of add the bow to my loadout. Because it definitely does seem like it would uh, be a useful thing to have. Well, this is a new zone. This is totally a zone. Why are you just alarmed, sir? How are they just alarmed? He's alert! What is he doing? Uh oh. Oh, oh gosh. Which one is attacking? Oh, it's her! No, 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 no. I don't want to shoot you. I'm just after the males. I'm just after the males, ma'am. Run the other way and you'll be okay. I hear one stuck to our right. Is that a male or a female? Uh, we've already shot enough here. So it doesn't really matter what it is, but female, okay. Are they all stuck inside of these rocks? They are. That's got to be uh, one of Hirschfeld's biggest problems is these rocks. Everything gets stuck here. Everything. <laughs> ah, you can't get me now. Can't get me if I'm above you. All right, then. Well, <laughs> that was something else. We got a lot of bison zones right here. Honestly, I could just spawn here and run the coast. Maybe slap down some tree stands in areas where I typically take shots from. That might work out pretty well. I uh, kind of like the middle of the map, uh, Cinnamon YT. That's where I've found a decent bit of them. But I might be uh, forgetting some really good spots because I'm not on the map at the moment looking. All right, so we need we need the big boy bow. Let's go with longbow. And then let's go with tree stands, probably. I think those will be easier. 
And you know we gotta customize it. What what options do we have? What options would actually look good? I don't mind that. I mean, that's pretty sick too. This is where this really fits, honestly. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> yep, yep, we'll do that. Later, Lane. Thank you for dropping in, dude. Really appreciate it, as always. Oh, yeah. That is the one. I need to uh, get the ammo, though, because I never use this thing, so I don't usually keep the uh, ammo on me. There we go. All right, now we got ourselves the uh, defense bow. Gotta find the sweet spot, there we go. Um, I might have fabled. Let me check. Uh, nope. I, it looks like I got all of them fade, faded. I keep calling you fabled because of your name change. <laughs> How do you get the crossbow? It's in weapon pack number one, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, we should probably main menu. What DLC do I recommend? Oh, there's a lot that I recommend. Um, I'd say one of the most important ones is if you're on PC, you will need to get the tent DLC. It is a uh, very vital DLC to have. If you're on console, you get it for free, but on PC, you have to pay for the uh, tent DLC. So definitely recommend that one. And then also the tripod DLC is really good. The modern rifle weapon pack is really good. A trophy lodge is a pretty important thing to get as well. I don't know if that got vitals, but it should take it down. Gosh, there's so many. They're all going down. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. You made it just in time for the bison slaughter. How many of those are going to be vitals? That's the question. How many of those will be vitals? I'm doing good, Caitlin. Doing good. 
We uh, got a piebald female bison at a uh, new zone we hadn't checked. And then we've kind of just been figuring out uh, how we can make them respawn more reliably. Because uh, some of the males have kind of gone to different areas, but after this run, it looks like most of them return to this zone. So maybe I just need to go kill a few from a couple other zones. Seems to have worked. Did I pass one? I might have. I might have passed one. That's a nice four, though. What pack is the longbow in? It is in the Silver Ridge Peaks DLC. So when you buy Silver Ridge, you get the longbow. Nice, Lucas. Happy birthday, dude. See, one down there. And then the rest are going to be up there. Whoa! We're spinning out here. Ah, uh, whenever you're satisfied with your map, Noah. How's the grind? What am I grinding for? We're grinding for all the different rares. We're trying to get a male rare of every single kind. And uh, things have been going good. We've been having a, a fun time grinding today. The grind has been uh, quite enjoyable. I don't know if we got any more down over here. I'm assuming we hit at least one or two more. Question is, was it vitals and will they die anytime soon? As of now, that's unknown. Okay, looks like nothing more in this area. Let's head over to this lake. Let's see if we got any males back here. I'm kind of interested after that last run. What rare have you got? We've so far got two piebalds from the grind. We got a female and a male piebald. Nothing else though. Nothing at that lake so far. Let's head to the sniper spot. Uh, yeah, I said we got a female piebald bison today. From a brand new zone that we had never gone to. Will we get our male bison back here? We got the response to come back to one of those other zones. Hey, we do have a male here now. Okay, so whatever we did, it got a lot of our males to go back to where they were. That's awesome. Hey, Jennifer, it's going good. Life is uh, going pretty good right now. Been having a lot of fun recently. Whoa. That's a sketch little uh, incline there. Or I guess decline. <gasps> no, David, I won't. If you haven't watched any of the recent stuff, I, I have stopped doing it. And I've already uh, said why I stopped doing it, and because of those reasons, there's no reason why I would go back unless the developers came out and said that they support it. That's essentially the gist of it, right? I won't uh, go back to using it unless the developers tell everybody that it's okay to use. Because that's the whole debate, is that some people in the community think that it's exploiting the systems. Uh, another portion of the community think that it's just using game mechanics to get your herds to be better, kind of like you would in real life, and that it takes, you know, hundreds of hours to get it to that point, and so it's uh, one of those things that's just kind of been very splitting, and until the developers say something about it, 
I will definitely not be going back to it. And I don't think the devs will ever say anything about it. They've been pretty uh, tight-lipped on the whole thing. So, doubt they will ever come out and say anything about it. But I, I feel like it would be best if they would. Yeah, Stasis, these bison are wild, man. They'll come through and pop you. They will. It's happened to me a few times. <laughs> these bison are crazy. Where did it go? Hunter, you gotta find it for me, man. Oh, fox. There's a fox! I'm sorry, buddy. This is the only gun I have. It's okay. We missed. He, he's fine. Can't find my dog, though, because the icon doesn't work. Where is it? Behind me, apparently. What are you doing, buddy? Gotta keep my eye on you when you're trying to track. Or else I end up losing you. Oh, I just realized my gunshot probably spooked them off. Possibly. Only if it was a message straight from the developers, Zachary. Because that, that would essentially be exactly what I said. It would be the developers saying that it's fine, right? Hey, Flat Pop, how's it going, man? Alright, we still got a couple males here. Now, I don't know if this is going to turn into a solo zone if I were to kill all of them. Oh, there's there's multiple females. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can just blast these males. Because we do have two females here. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Hopefully we can get that guy to go down pretty quickly. I don't want to have to track him a, f a far ways, far distance. Okay, he's dead, finally. All right, later, Caitlin. Enjoy the soup. And be sure to save some for everybody in chat. I'm sure everybody's very hungry after watching all this bison slaughtering. Uh, both depending on what's in it, Jebba. It depends. Is it like a, you know, a, hard, a hearty soup that's more like a stew? Or is it like a, or is it like, um, just like broth, right? Like, what type of soup is it? Is it like a cream of mushroom soup? Is it like, you know, a soup with a ton of vegetables chopped up and put into it? Because it really depends. That, that would determine whether or not you eat it or drink it. Bison jerky would be good. Oh, it's great, man. I, I've had bison jerky before. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Oh, that actually reminds me. We've got some bison burgers that we're going to be having probably tomorrow. I am so excited. I've had bison jerky, but I've never had bison burgers before. And I've had so many people in chat tell me that it's the best thing ever. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to try some bison burgers because they, they sound pretty good from what I've been told. A lot of you guys throughout the streams have really been hyping them up, so I'm hoping that they're going to be as good as y'all have said they are. I mean, I would imagine they're going to be good. The jerky is good, so...
Holy! Smoked him! Hold on, let me see if some of them didn't render in. Oh, yep. There's at least one that wasn't rendered in, so maybe there'll be a male that isn't spooked? Oh, hey! I was right, there is a male that's not spooked. We got another to rend in. R rend in? Wow, I cannot speak English. Render in. Oh, he's aggressive. All right, well, that makes everything easier. And I'm having fun with this bison grind. This has been a lot of fun. They're so good, they're amazing. Bison's really good. Burgers, yeah, so good, yum. All right, well, I'm excited. They taste just like regular burgers. So at the so what you're saying is at the very minimum is I'll still enjoy it just as much as I'll enjoy a normal hamburger. And on the like the like good side of things, it'll be better than a hamburger. I mean, I'd say those are pretty good odds of me enjoying it then. Hey buddy. You are <laughs> Did I not get a vital hit into him? <laughs> This is him. Hey, get back here. No, no, you're going the wrong way. But what is he doing? Hey, I'm over here. All right, well, we're going to move on. Guess that bison thought I was still over there. Watch him go over there and start mauling my tent. Uh, no, Cinnamon, you don't have to get rid of hunting pressure for mallards. They will continue to go to the same area no matter how much pressure is there. He's warning calling now. Bro, what are you doing over there? Yeah, come back here. I, I don't want to shoot you and have to walk all the way over there. Cameron, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a great day. What is this bison doing? A little bit. Oh, okay. He's doing that. And that. <laughs> Getting stuck and teleporting. Oh, Hirschfelden. How we love you. Nice, Christy. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Here we go. Things are about to get interesting. If it continues... Wait, why, why is it doubling back? It doubled back again. What is happening? This bison is being so strange. I, I just want to take it down. And not have to run a mile to catch up to it. Did he die? I don't know. Now nope, he just flipped around again. I'm over it. We're not worrying about him. I'm over it. <laughs> oh, man. What a bison. Uh, Norman, thank you for becoming a member. Actually, renewing your membership. Welcome back. Thank you so much. A little bit, Axe. He's, he's having some, some type of trouble. Hard to say what. Yeah, that's one that we hit earlier. Think that should be good? Probably not a video, Jennifer, but we'll definitely join him for a stream on it eventually again. We're probably going to be doing an Escape from Tarkov stream tonight because they made more changes to the recoil. And so apparently it's even better. And I mean, it was already miles better the last few times we played. I mean, we were going crazy. Absolutely destroying everybody. So I'm interested to see 
how much more they could have possibly improved it. There was already a night and day difference. Oh yeah, definitely flat pop, definitely. I'm honestly enjoying it. Uh, it's always been one of my least favorite maps, but I've actually enjoyed this grind quite a bit. The Euro Bison are probably the most enjoyable thing on Hirschfelden. All females still here. Let's main menu. Stasis, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy the perks that come with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the uh, scrapped uploads on the channel. Much appreciated, as always. Hope you're doing amazing. Yeah, Drippy, they are. They would be included with it. Whenever a, a DLC map gives you a gun, they always give you everything to go with it. So, like, if you, uh, you buy a DLC that has, let's say, let's say the longbow with, or let's say the, let's say the 470, right? If you buy Verhonga Savannah, you get the 470, and then you also end up getting the, uh, Marksman Exact Reflex Sight and both ammo types with it. So yeah, it'll always come with everything needed. Okay, he's going down. He's down. We didn't see that guy, I don't think. Or did we? Yeah, that might be one of the ones that we shot earlier. And we got that giant pile of bison over there. Two males. Oh, we're trying to get every single rare as a male, uh, piggy wowness. Trying to get a male rare of every kind of rare. Male albino, male piebald, male, uh, melanistic. Currently, we've got the piebald. Now we're just trying to get the mela and the albino. Once we get those, the grind will be complete. But I wouldn't mind getting uh, a couple diamonds along the way as well. Because I've only got one European bison diamond. They're a very rare diamond. Alright, later Colton. My gosh, it's just a bison graveyard. There's like, what, five of them down right here? That's nuts. Level three, level two, there should be a four down over here. That's crazy, Faded. A super rare one? Jeez. That's nuts. Okay, so this is the four then. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum. Yep, there's our four. 243, that's a big one. That is one of the better ones we've killed during this grind. That's a female right there. Okay, let's go check this area. Let's uh, slap down some tree stands as we go as well. I've used the 45 air rifle extensively throughout the years of the uh, channel, Christy. That was one of my favorite guns to use when I first started making content. I was, I, you know, you know what they say? I, I hate to say it, but, you know, I, I loved the air rifle before it was cool. I always had quite a bit of fun with it. Hey, Cantor, how's it going? Mrs. Crow is in the building. Y'all better be on your best behavior. Mrs. Crow is here. Okay, we're not gonna be hunting this herd because if I shoot these, everything else will spook. And there's no way that I can get a tripod to reduce pressure here, I don't think. 
So I think we're gonna stick to just all the herds that are down here. But I need to figure out places that I can put stands like... That's gonna be the tough part about this. Actually getting stands up. Because there's like, there's just no way that I can do stands, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I can do stands. Which sucks, it's very unfortunate. We will just have to hunt this area whenever the pressure clears. So we'll have to use this as kind of like an extra place that we go every once in a while. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be a place where we can just go to it every run or else it's going to delete all the zones via hunting pressure. Any male? Nope, just the females. What map am I on? We're currently on Hirschfeld and uh, Piggy Wellness. Best weapon pack besides the modern rifle pack? Uh, smoking barrels is really good and so is the assorted sidearms pack just because the 243 single shot is an amazing weight saving option that gives you the same power and range as the regular 243. So yeah, I'd say those are a couple that are pretty good. Weapon pack one's also good because of the 22 Virant. Oh, we got a male over there. Okay, so we're slowly getting males to return to uh, these zones. It's aggressive. Oh! Oh no. I made a poor decision. Oh gosh. <laughs> I should not have fast traveled over here. Not so soon at least. You know, I haven't been shooting the females, but I kind of just want to... <laughs> I'm glad I did. Ow. They're not glad I did, though. <laughs> that was vital somehow. What? These arrows are nuts. That was somehow vitals. Holy. That is too much fun. That was a vital hit with a butt shot. My god. Oh, the penetration's ridiculous. Like, how, how can you miss vitals with this? You could shoot them straight in the butt and get a Texas heart shot. That's wild. That, that's wild. That is, that is too much fun. Yeah, kill deer there is. These are the, uh, the 700 grain arrows. Um, it's gonna be a few months, Autumn. Few months before we do another lodge tour, because we just did one, like... Right before the update dropped, I believe. Or right as the update dropped. It's only been a couple months since we did a lodge tour. There'd barely be anything new to show off. Besides great ones. It would basically just be a... a I mean, maybe I could do a great one lodge tour. We'll see. We will see. Reloading might help. Because now that I've separated my Great Ones and like Great One Grind Trophies into a different lodge, it might be cool to show off that lodge. Because that's where I'm keeping all of the uh, Great Ones, Unique Diamonds, Super Rares, and just nice looking rares from that grind. From the, uh, what's it called? From the, uh, Whitetail, Red Deer, Black Bear, and Moose Great One Grinds. They're all in that lodge now. 
I showed it off uh, yesterday a little bit. Matthew, thank you for the 12 months, dude. One year as a member. That is amazing. Thank you so much for the uh, long-term continued support. Really appreciate it. Uh, definitely Autumn. Uh, it would be interesting just for the people that like uh, don't typically watch the channel. They'd click on the video and be like, oh, this guy's got to be hacking. He has nothing but great ones and super rares. It would be kind of hilarious to see what the comments would be like. <laughs> Oh, it died. Died before I could get the shot off. Uh, you could do a search on it, uh, Drippy. It'll pop up very fast as it's one of the more popular games right now and has been for a couple years. Yeah, Hunt Club will be back uh, in the middle of the week. For those that didn't see the post that they had put out, um, I, I noticed that most people glanced over this. They didn't say that it was permanently back. They said that it was going to... that they were going to be running a series of test events between Wednesday and Friday on two different weeks. So the first week already passed. They already did the tests. And now we're on week two. So starting on Wednesday, we should see more Hunt Club missions pop up. And then they will be popping up every day until uh, Friday. I don't think I got vitals on this second one, but it did end up dying. So it might be worth uh, chasing after. Yeah, it probably didn't go too far because this area does have rough terrain. I imagine it got stuck a few times and that probably prevented it from going too much further. Yeah, it's right there. Perfect. Hey, Drawn, how's it going? How much money do I currently have? 13,410,000. Let's see. What do we have here? This is where we killed that piebald female. We have one male. I think it's just him. Go aggressive. <laughs> he doesn't want to go aggressive. Currently bow hunting one of every species on Revlon Tuli. Nice maximum adventures. That sounds fun. Uh, whichever one you enjoy the most, Strippy. Whichever one is your favorite, I would say, is the one you should grind. Because that's going to make it the most enjoyable time for you. Nice, Autumn, that's awesome. Glad to hear it.
There it is. How can you get the 6.5? The 6.5 comes with Quattro Colinas. Hello, ma'am. How you doing? Can you die? Thank you. <laughs> How did the butt shot kill that one, but four to the side didn't kill that one? We're doing great. Hello, ma'am. You get to live because I don't want to delete the zone. I don't want to turn it to a solo uh, cow zone. Yeah, it's not solo doe zone. It'd be a solo cow zone. Now back to the hot spot. Oh, definitely Axe Head. I mean, we were smoking it with 700 grain arrows from point blank. Survived four of them. Insane. AT2, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing good. Nice four. Where's the fives, though? Big four there. Three? Another four. Wow. Nice three. This run is loaded with fours. Oh my gosh, he just drops. There we go. That was three really nice fours and a couple big threes as well. Two eighteen. Got a great one before I join? Nice, dude. That's awesome. Uh, because if you kill everything in the area, diabetic dude, it will uh, delete the zone. And then those animals will not come back to the same area. If you just shoot a couple out of there, then the respawns from them will come back to the same area. And it makes it easier to hunt them. Because at that point, you kind of know where they're going to be. Instead of having to guess every run. Okay, we didn't get any more down over here. How do you get the gun I'm using? This is the 300 Magnum. You can get it with the Yukon DLC map. Where did both of these go? We dropped one of them, but then there's another that ran off somewhere. Okay, that's the one that ran. This is the one... Or actually, I think that's the one we dropped. Yeah, so that's the four right there. What's my favorite loadout? Uh, if I want, like, a loadout that can do everything, I choose the 300 Magnum. 243 single shot handgun or 243 bolt action either works uh, the 308 and then the 22 virant that's my like go to loadout all right let's go reset the time hey big, big bad wolf how's it going man what's my favorite dlc um i mean that would include maps as well so i would say tiabaro has got to be my favorite dlc and then the, the tense DLC. It's kind of like a necessity for everything I do. So I definitely say the uh, the tent DLC is pretty high up there.
Nice, Calvin. That's awesome. The red deer are here, but the bison are not. Uh, it's been going good, clean. We're taking a little bit of break from uh, a little bit of a break from great one grinding to hunt some other species, but uh, we're still kind of going to be off and on bounce into like the white tail and the black bear. What is my favorite gun? I like the AR-308. Such a monster of a rifle. It's just so good. Hey, we got a mail back. Okay, we're slowly getting males back at this area. I wouldn't say that, T2. I, I don't necessarily like an easy Great One grind. I like a fun Great One grind. I think that's the best way to put it. I enjoy a fun grind. It doesn't have to be easy, as long as it's not annoying, right? To be honest, that's kind of why I don't like the bear grind, because it's... It's not only difficult, but... It, it's just annoying. I don't want to wait three hours for the bears to get to their zones. But, uh, let's, let's take the moose grind, for instance. It's a tough grind. But I actually like it, because for the most part, the moose are consistent. Consistency is the thing that I value in a grind. Like, are the animals going to actually do what they're supposed to? The bears don't. <laughs> the bears just kind of do what they want. What map are we playing on? We're currently playing on Hirschfelden. There's a four. Man, we're getting a lot of fours. Please. Please have a five close. This has been an incredibly consistent zone, though. Love to see it. Come on, go down. That was terrible shooting on my end, but it's dead, so it's all good in the end. Just got your first level 5 moose and it trolled. Oh no, big fan. I'm sorry to hear that. Bro, with the duck aim? Yeah, on the biggest species in the game you know I'm doing good doing good not the biggest species but one of the biggest species yet I still can't hit them you see with old scarecrow my aim is either insane or terrible for the day there's no in between either I drop four whitetail in a row in four seconds at every single zone or I miss three magazines while trying to hit one bison <laughs> there's no in between there's really no in between. Are the dusky black bear rare? No, they're not rare. That is one of the common fur variations. The rares for black bear are blonde, cinnamon, and brown. Oh, jeez, Axe That's so close to being a diamond, though. Oh, hey, that's a nice little level seven red deer. Well, we're not here for him. Let's back up a little bit more and see if there's any others that didn't render in. Cause 
Because that seems to be a uh, common issue with my tent placement here. Uh, not this time, though. There was just one of them there. Thank you, Scott. I'm glad you enjoy it, dude. That uh, means a lot to me. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? How have things been? I saw you saying that YouTube was giving you issues earlier. What's my favorite diamond? Um, it's it's kind of always been the red deer. I feel like the diamond red deer just looks so impressive. There's a few others that I do really like, though. Um, let me see if I can think of them off the top of my head. Um, some of the mule deer diamonds look really nice. I think the big rack diamond mule deer looks pretty good. No males. What else do we got? Oh, the Sika diamonds. Sika deer diamonds look amazing. I don't know why we don't have more people hunting the Sika deer. Like, the Sika deer never get talked about, even though they're amazing. And they've got, like, the biggest variety of racks as well. There's, like, six or seven different diamond racks for the Sika deer. Which is insanity. That's so much more than 99% of other species in the game. I think it's really just like the uh, the mule deer that are similar in the amount of racks they have as diamonds. All right, let's main menu see if we can get them here. Oh yeah, there's like six or seven different types, Pioneer. A couple of them you can only get on level 4s. So there, there's quite a bit of variety. 3. 3. And a 3. It's just a level three party. How did we not get vitals on the first shot? Looks like we got it on the second, but not the first. What is my favorite duck species? Yours is the tufted and golden eye. I like the Eurasian teal and the green winged teal the best. I'd say both of those are equal favorites of mine. I just like the teal a lot because of the colors. They look beautiful. Ah, it's a floater. No. Yeah, T2, we're almost to 96.1 even. Let's do a quick little check and get the updated count. Yeah, we're at 96,090 right now, which is crazy. That guy's floating, so he's gonna have to wait. We'll get him later. I don't really watch football, Drippy, so I, I don't know. I didn't watch it, so I have no clue. Nice, Blake. No, Jacob, we haven't shot a diamond bison yet. 
Our last diamond that we have killed was a diamond lion from yesterday. When do Euro Bison drink? From 10 to 14. Did you miss anything? No, you did not miss uh, too much. The only good thing that we have got today was a piebald female bison, and we got that in a brand new zone that we had never been to. So it's probably an initial spawn from what I can tell. You know what? I got an idea. I, I don't know how this is going to work, but instead of shooting it and creating a ton of hunting pressure, what if we just run at them with the bow until they get stuck whenever we're hunting this shoreline? Because eventually they're bound to have to maneuver around the rocks and that should give us shots to take them down. That way we don't add as much hunting pressure. Yeah, Shreveport, I remember you. What time did we get the piebald? Uh, less than 30 minutes in, I believe. I know it was towards the beginning of the stream. There's a zone right here, too. I never see these ones, though. There it is. There he is. Okay, so I need to lead less. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, that was terrible. Yeah, I'm not good at the long range shots with this thing. I think I'm going to stick to the wait till they get stuck strategy. <laughs> What's max weight for Euro Bison? I believe 920. 920 kgs, I believe. So approximately like what, double that in pounds? But it's called a longbow. I guess it's a, I guess it's a longbow and not a long range bow. Am I killing only the males? Yeah, we're just killing the males. Occasionally I'll pop a couple females if they go aggressive, but that's about it. Yeah, fish hook I do. I haven't been able to in quite a few years though. It's been about six years since I went hunting last. But uh, when I was a kid, I used to hunt with my dad. This is where they were getting stuck last time. Not sure if they're going to this time, though. I think we're going to get very unlucky. I don't think any of them are going to get stuck. Oh, but one of them is running back. Actually, I think they all are. Bad shot, but... He's going down, I think? Oh, gosh. Can I- can I get up here? Well, I can see why they get stuck here. <laughs> the terrain is terrible. Did we kill any of them? Yeah, we did. But where? Where did they die? 
Oh, right there. And then I don't think the other one died, so not going to worry about him. It's going good, Damien. Hope you're doing well. All right, everybody. I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end the stream there so that I can go get some uh, food in a bit, as well as uh, because we're going to be doing a stream with Kill Clinton later. And I still have to get today's YouTube short uploaded, so we're going to end a little bit earlier than normal. But uh, I appreciate everybody being here as always. Uh, thank you guys for 96,100 subs because we're about to hit that, so really appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything as always, and uh, we will be back tomorrow with another Call of the Wild stream, and we'll be back later tonight with a Tarkov stream and maybe more? Depends on what KC's doing. We'll see. But thank you all for being here, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!